It is arguably the first of its kind in Guyana, mirroring in some degree the American TV show, The Amazing Race. One thing for sure, it was an amazing experience in the views for the 10 teams, but a toll on the body was grueling. It started Friday morning with a 30 meter sprint, then a tag to begin the kayak journey from Edward Benjamin Exhibition and Conference Center to the Watuka Guest House in Linden. While starting behind, the Region 9 duo finished quite handy ahead in the first leg. Mark, set, go! <laughs> It was back into the buses for a long journey to Letton, where the tick of the action would take place. First up, the Iron Bow Challenge, and not surprisingly, they dominated that as well. After testing the arms, it was time for the leg work with a traditional go kart race in Letem, which had numerous tumbles, much to the delight of some onlookers. Yet again, ant eaters made light work, and by then, somewhat were assured of a victory. Now on to the climb of the Kanuku Mountain to the Shamburg Peak, which has a height of 3,012 feet. Yes, all of that was in a day's work. Luckily for many contestants and myself, the journey was only quarter up to the mountain for an overnight camp at the first stream. After the much needed rest, the real test was on from the crack of dawn, and our eaters reached the summit first in about an hour and 20 minutes. Most of the team did it in over two hours. One has to admit that no matter how long it took, Reaching the top was a surreal feeling, soaking up what many have never seen. Entering, we love nature and hiking is one of our things that we would like to do in Guyana. It's climb Guyana, this is a very, very good opportunity we have. And um, Kanuku is that it's in the region 9 and Giant Antita is one of the Rupununi. They always promote Giant Antita in the Rupununi and we are glad we are in the Giant Antita team. And we feel great that as, as we're coming up, we, I have seen photographs on social media platform and now we are here and we did it. And as we come, we just have our water with um, lemonade that we just keep drinking at, at some point. We keep um, sipping and coming and coming. So, Finally, just tell me about this view. How, how, how are you two enjoying this view behind you, in front of you? I don't know how you want to look at it. How are you enjoying it? The, the, this view is kind of a mixture of um, the, the other parts of um, hiking we went up to. We, the other hiking we did was more forested. It's just natural forest you see uh, with rivers. But over here, it's, it's mostly vast savannas and villages and let them like, tongue, Brazil. It's kind of different views that we have and it's very, um, like, it's phenomenal. The view is phenomenal and we love it. It's Rupununi indeed. We, we haven't seen the, all the beauty of Rupununi and this is, Kanuku is really good. It's one of the largest protected area in, um, kind of protected area in Guyana. I also got to speak to two sisters who said they fed off each other to complete the grueling race. It was hard, it was difficult, but it was well worth it. I felt as though we achieved what we needed to because at the beginning of it all, we said that look, even if we don't win this, we are in it for the adventure and we're going to make it to the top of that mountain. Because when we were like halfway there, it was really difficult. And I was about to give up because like, no, I'm going to go slowly. 
but sure but the feeling of there was awesome it was great yeah yeah and it was very exciting and a bit tedious sometimes but as sisters i found it having somebody that i know well there to the race uh, they comforted and fun because we had fun along the way, so that was good. Second overall, team won the corner with 385 points compared to Anne 456 points and the peer in third with 358 points. The winners got $300,000 while second and third got $250,000 and $150,000 respectively. Climber indicated that they are in the planning stage of another fulfilling expedition which showcases Ghana's beauty. With newsroom, I can agree.